hello guys thanks for coming back again if you have subscribed if you are yet to subscribe please click on the subscribe button and also on the bell beside it that will notify you when we drop our new video thank you and you have a reason to subscribe to this channel because you're gonna be uh upload we're gonna be uploading videos based on the WAC 2021 practicals for physics chemistry and biology and and i know you like to see that so please subscribe and get in touch with us at any point in time we will always be there for you so now let's uh go to the discussion of the day so in this video we want to talk about the tips you will need to pass physics practicals successfully so we're gonna pick it from one to the last so let us start with this and that says ensure your setup is in accordance with the diagram given in the question so you ensure that the materials given to you are arranged in accordance with the diagram you are seeing in the question and if there is, if there is any point or anything you are improvising ensure that it goes in line with what you are doing so and then we have another one which says um, ensure tight connection as far as electricity is concerned so you have to ensure that you connect uh the the, uh, the uh, diagram tightly you ensure the tight connections then we have another one which says all reading should be in two decimal place so when recording values into your table or readings into your table ensure it is recorded in two decimal place now when evaluation are made it should be recorded in three decimal place for instance t is period so when you measure your period, when you take your period according from the stopwatch, for instance, when you're performing an experiment based on pendulum and you get a period, you know, the period is moreover, maybe uh, T all over the number of oscillation or whatsoever, and T is the time taken for a given number of oscillations. So when you're evaluating T squared, it should be in three decimal place. When you evaluate the inverse, or square of a particular reading it should be in three decimal place that is to a certain degree of accuracy so then the next one said avoid error due to parallax in taking all measurements so instruments that are associated with parallax error are the meter rule potentiometer potentiometer and all that so you should avoid parallax error now follow the procedures as given in the question that is much more important then when plotting your graph ensure you cover at least 70 percent of the graph book ensure you cover 70 percent at least of the graph book so and that is very very is key is key this should be achieved through the scale used you can achieve this through the type of the the, the scale you use in plotting your graph that could be achieved then we have uh, ensure the graph is titled according to the variable you are plotting the graph its graph rather so when plotting graph of t square against l for instance the square of period against the length so which means the title of the graph is going to be what graph of t square against l and at the vertical axis you're going to have the t square and that will be in second squared why are the horizontal axis that will be in centimeter or thereabout so instead of using y against x the variable has changed then also you should know that a neat graph cools the mind of the examiner <laughs> you know what that means so you need you need to ensure that your graph is neatly plotted and all other calculations should be done accurately and you, the answers should be given in two decimal places if possible and also this loop okay those are the little tips we have for you for now and i think you enjoy that thanks for watching please subscribe to our youtube channel it's free thank you